This is your home dashboard. In it, you'll find all of your existing flows along with a menu to other pages of the Flotion framework. It's from here that we can create new flows, archive existing ones, and access any flows that we've already created. So in this video, we're gonna do three things. We're going to enter into an existing flow. We're going to archive an old one, then bring it back to the home dashboard, and then we will create a new flow from the dashboard. Let's get started. So let's start by entering an existing flow. When you receive the Flowshin framework, you should have a few sample flows ready to go, and you can enter into one by simply clicking on the thumbnail in the gallery and clicking through one more time to the flow itself. It's from this page that you'll see all of the work pages and databases that you've been working on. Any further work that you do will remain inside of this flow it won't affect any of the other databases in the other flows in your dashboard. When your dashboard is filling up with flows and projects that you no longer need, you can always archive it by hitting this archive checkbox button. That will remove it and clear up some space in your home dashboard. And you can always find it in the archive page of your Flotion setup. If you'd like to return, this archive project back to your main dashboard. It's as simple as hitting the archive button and you'll find it back in place. Creating a new flow is as simple as creating a new object inside of your dashboard. And you can either start from a fresh new flow or choose from one of the existing templates inside of the dashboard. So if you were to start from scratch, you would hit this new flow button you can give it a name and typically if you just wait 90 seconds to a couple of minutes your fresh flow will load and be ready to work on and that's about all you need to know about the Flotion dashboard